Normal cell functioning requires the precisely timed synthesis and elimination of proteins. Protein degrading structures known as proteasomes, present in all cells, help control the levels of many of the regulatory proteins involved in cell replication and survival. Research into these pathways suggests that cancer cells rely on proteasomes more than normal cells do in order to thrive. Proteasome inhibition represents a compelling investigational approach to cancer therapy. The distinctive multiple subunit structures of proteasomes differentiates them from simpler protease enzymes. Active proteolytic sites reside inside the tube. In the more highly specialized variety of proteasome, the tube is capped by regulatory structures that recognize and bind to specific target proteins and help unfold and feed them into the catalytic core. Proteasomes work in tandem with intracellular proteins called ubiquitins, which tag other proteins for processing by proteasomes. The ubiquitin proteasome pathway pervades all multicellular life. Proteasomes degrade some proteins completely and selectively cleave others into active and inactive residues. The wide range of proteins degraded or liberated by proteasomes include many that are critical to the cell cycle. These contribute to the massive biochemical signals that converge to tell a cell whether to propagate or not, go or stop. Proteasomes also influence levels of cell survival proteins. These influence whether a cell continues living or undergoes apoptosis, live or die. Research now suggests that in cancer cells, ubiquitination goes into overdrive, making more protein recognizable by the proteasome. This leads to increased turnover of cell cycle regulatory proteins, which include the CDK inhibitors P27 and P21, and the mitosis regulators cyclin B and securin. This may contribute to cell cycle dysregulation and rampant mitosis. A cancer cell exposed to stressors such as chemotherapy or radiation may resist the onslaught, in part through the proteasome-mediated unshackling of pro-survival transcription factors. One of the best characterized of these is NF-kappa-B, which is ordinarily bound and inactivated by the protein I-kappa-B. Stress promotes the ubiquitination of this complex and accelerates its processing by proteasomes. The proteasome degrades I-kappa-B and liberates NF-kappa-B. Proteasome inhibition constitutes a novel mechanism of action that holds promise as cancer therapy. Proteasome inhibition prevents the degradation of numerous regulatory proteins. This sends a multitude of conflicting signals, many of which inhibit growth. The cancer cell cannot interpret the cacophony of signals and initiates programmed cell death. The ability of tumor cells to resist chemotherapy through the enhanced activation of nuclear factors, such as NF-kappa-B, may also be curtailed through the intervention of a proteasome inhibitor. With their defenses diminished, the tumor cells become more vulnerable to the effects of cytotoxic agents and more prone to apoptosis. Research suggests that cancer cells are more sensitive than normal cells to such pro-apoptotic effects of proteasome inhibition. The roster of malignancies against which proteasome inhibition may be active has grown considerably as researchers continue to clarify the wide array of proteasome substrates relevant to cancer. Ongoing studies are exploring the clinical potential of proteasome inhibition in the treatment of cancer. This exciting investigational approach to cancer treatment may provide clinicians with a powerful new tool of benefit to a wide range of patients.